Hello, Andrew here. I'm the creative director and uh, executive producer on Survivor Man The Descent. And I wanted to give a, a personal response to a comment that came in on Twitter here uh, from DYLANA0908, who writes, Aviation guy here, little tip, that's not a compass. The compass would be over the dash. That's an HI or HSI. We slew that to the compass. So um, I wanted to, first of all, let you know what he's talking about here. He's referring to the compass that uh, you can see in the commercial. Survivor here. Man, VR, scene two, take four. Okay. You can just pull a vehicle apart. It's not that easy without tools. There we go. If you work hard enough, you may find something that can keep you alive. And you know what to do if I immerse you right into a survival situation, just like this, a crash in the mountains. Awesome idea, pulling that compass up. Now you can take a bearing, set a heading, get yourself off this mountain. So once we'd finished building the model and we'd kind of completed the game mechanic and we put this, this compass component in the cockpit dash and we were about to shoot the commercial that you just saw, I kind of had some second thoughts. Uh, I've, I've a little bit of experience flying, having shot several TV shows with small airplanes, and I, I had to look it up, and I realized that, yeah, a uh, gyroscopically powered horizontal situation indicator, it needs power to work. And if you pulled it out of the, the helicopter, it wouldn't work as a compass. And then I got a little bit nervous, because I know Les, and Les is all about authenticity. That's his brand, it has to be, Real. Yes. Authenticity. It's got to be real, has to be realistic to the survival situation, no matter what it might happen to be. So part of my job here, even though I get to be host guy and all of that, is I get to hold people like Andrew, who's lurking around behind the camera, I get to hold their feet to the fire and say, no, that wouldn't happen. And I just get to correct that because survival is actually what I do. So that's really vital to me that this whole experience, as much as it is a virtual reality experience, the paradox of that is that I want it to be real. I gotta fix this. So I called up Jason from Reclaimed Aero Parts, the fellow who brought us in the crashed aircraft for that commercial. And I asked him if there was any chance there was just a magnetic compass that had that little airplane symbol on it right in the middle that looked like a gyroscopic heading indicator, but was just a compass. And he said, yes, there was. And he brought it to set. So this is just a regular old compass that you would mount in an airplane. It does have wires on it, but they are just to power a light so you can see it at night. But yeah, there is such a thing that is just a regular compass that you could pull out of an airplane that looks exactly like the one we have in the game. Now, granted, you wouldn't find this normally inside the dash you would find it on top of the dash this is where they're meant to be mounted but um technically you would find this in the aircraft so i think i'm off the hook